Hello YouTube, welcome to a, I guess a new series, it may be a series, don't know yet. This is going to be a tutorial, um, so I've got a, f a good friend of mine in my Discord channel, which I recommend you guys joining. Um, he was asking me what I recommend when I start a new city, or when a said person would start a new city with vanilla, no mods, $70,000, what's the best way to get your traffic off the highway? Um, I have a few examples. First one that I recommend, um, it's, it's kind of simple and very effective, at least for maybe your first two hours, depending on how fast you develop your city. Um, and then the second one they recommend, it, it's, it's kind of simple, a little bit more um, advanced to those of you that don't like one-way roads this one may not be for you but this second one is called I'm just gonna call it the frontage road system now the third one it's kind of uh, easy to do most people can manage it um, and that would be the roundabout and I'm gonna go over each one of these in order show you guys why I do it the way I do it and um, if you guys need some more examples I will be more than happy to do so um, so let's go ahead and get started on the first one again I don't have a really a good name for this one but I will just show you guys what I you know do this is actually the one I use the most when I play vanilla and um, I have money turned on and all that good stuff, but a lot of people to get the one-way road, which is approximately right here, will build a tiny unit like that to unlock it, but I see no point in that because I'm going to be using the same type of road. It's a two-lane road, so go over here and click this one. I know some of these are um, modded roads, but I will only be using vanilla roads, so what you do make sure you don't have to have free f form on but it's nice too so that's what I'm gonna do so first thing you want to do is just make sure it's at a again this is another mod you don't need it it just shows you um, how many units away you are and obviously the angle at which it's gonna leave the current road system so just it doesn't matter where you click it's a free form so it'll be kind of a nice arc no matter which way you go with it all right so i'm just going to draw it out to there then the first thing you want to do is grab the two lane one way road and upgrade it so there you go your three lane road is going to convert down to two lane and then into the city it goes next part of this would be building an avenue this is this this is going to be your main road main artery in your your beginning city so don't make it at a 90 degree I don't really recommend that and I'll show you why in just a second so just I mean I guess you could if you wanted to but uh, it just I think it looks nicer when you don't do that so just make a main arterial road like that arterial arterial road basically all those are is like an expressway or something like that all right, so the next step, we don't want this to be close to this at all. And here, I'll, I'll build it and I'll explain as I'm doing it. So first thing, you wanna go away, not too much, but not, not uh, too close either, or not too far either. So just build it to about there and then connect it in like that and then switch the direction. Now, this is pretty much it. This is all you need to get started for your city and you won't have any traffic problems for a long time and here's why. Now, your road coming in, they will have an intersection with stoplights and that's great, but the reason this is effective is because this road that leaves the avenue to go out to the highway there is no stoppage no stoplight i'm not using any 
mods. This is just what the game does. When you have a one-way road leaving an avenue or anything that has stoplights normally, um, it will never create stoplights. And I'll even prove that to you. So say you have a two-lane road, like that, and you build off of it. You will never ever get a stoplight because it's a two-lane road. Now, if you build uh, just a four-lane road like that, you build a two-lane, this is a two-way two-lane stoplight. Okay, a one-way coming in, stoplight, right? A two-lane leaving, no stoplight. That's just how the game acts. Uh, so if you have an avenue, if traffic is coming into it, basically you're getting a stoplight. If, it's, if there's no traffic coming in, then you won't get a stoplight. All right, guys, welcome to the second part of this video. This one, uh, we're going to be showing you guys the frontage roads. Now I'm using a downloaded map just for ease of making this tutorial. Um, so basically for the frontage road, what you need, you need a few things. Why can't I, oh, I don't even have the tool unlocked yet. So we're going to build a tiny segment because I can't even do what I was going to do. Delete. You, obviously, you won't have this in your map unless you download this same map. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna set these connections up to to a point where this is where you would use this type of exit. Uh, so you can actually do it on this map too if you really really wanted to. Uh, let's make sure. Yep, right there. 180 degrees and then this might be kind of hard to go that way let's try it from this direction well that's close enough we don't need it perfect just a tutorial uh, but normally I would make these roads absolutely perfect because that's just the way I do my my cities all right so frontage roads you need first of all we need to make these one ways so let's do that and I believe it's it's actually going in the wrong direction so let's fix that And then upgrade this one. Do the one way. All right. So there we go. This is this would be a highway. Just picture that as a highway, and this is how you would do this for a frontage road. This will only work on maps with um, the highway coming all the way through the tile. It wouldn't work on vanilla maps because they don't. I don't think any of the Villano maps have a highway that goes all the way through the starting tile. But this is this is generally what you would do with a frontage road. It's very simple. So you don't want it too close to the highway either. So I'm going to go about half a uh, unit and a half away. And then we're going to do the same thing, just connect it like that. So it's absolutely parallel with this. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to make your connections, right? So you would do something like this and then connect it like that, okay? So you have your connection there. And again, I'm going to make, I'm not going to make this too pretty because there's no point to. Just showing you guys what you can do with the tools that you've got. So on the up opposite side, let's do the exact same thing. Unit and a half. Unit and a half. And then you wanna make your exit 
as pretty as you please. You don't have to make it pretty, but that's what I recommend. And then make your connection back to the highway like that. Okay, so now you have your basic frontage roads. Um, and I'm actually going to extend these a little bit. Over to about there and to there. Okay, and let's do another one over here. And as you can see, you don't really have the money to make one this large when you um, when you start. If you want to use this kind when you start a new city, you need a map that has the highway that runs all the way through. Because if you don't, this is not very economically a good choice. It's actually not a very good choice at all if you don't have it running all the way through your map to start with. All right, so then you want, this is the simple part. All you gotta do, let's, well, yeah. All right, so now you need to build your bridge over the highway, not that hard. Let's make sure that is good. It's gonna do something weird. Um, that's your bridge. And you can make as many of these bridges as you want. Um, just try to keep the um, amount of intersections to a minimum. That's all you need to do to make this effective. Now let's look at what's going to be going on here. Um, so you'd come into the city and you can exit here and get onto the frontage road, which has to be one way. And then people coming from behind here can be on the frontage road and get on the highway going that way, or they can take the bridge over and then continue and go on that way and you can flip these whichever way you want you can have the entry before the exit or all that good stuff and that might actually be a better way for you so there's no filtering with the traffic or anything like that and you might actually want to add a bridge over the middle like this um, not too terrible to do it's actually I recommend I would actually recommend three bridges like that. And that leaves you $25,000 left over with me building this main thing part through the middle. Uh, that would save you, I don't know, about $10,000. So you'd be looking at 36,000. And economically, would that work? Let's test it real quick. So we're gonna go with the bare minimums. So just, you know, your water tower. And then you're gonna need your power, which to make this economically good, we're going to place it. Let's go there. And then we need our outflow pipe here and connect these two. And then we need the power to connect as well. So look at that. You have everything you need to get your start city started, even with this large interchange exit frontage road system. So yeah, and the next part of this video will be the roundabout section. That one is actually really effective and it's very simple to do. So see you guys over there. All right, guys, this is going to be the third. Um, this will be the third uh, junction or exit that I recommend. This is going to be the roundabout. This one is very simple yet effective for a while. It, it all depends on what size roads you use because you can upgrade these to highway roads and once you get to that point then you should be able to um, uh, just convert everything over and you won't have a problem. So let's upgrade these to the two lane one way like we did in the previous ones. And 
you don't want to create this off of one of these so select your curved road tool and then where the the bubble is make it where it's just touching it this is what I like to do now if you're using right right hand drive you want it to go this way in the right direction if you're using left hand you want to build it this way but since we're going right hand we're gonna go let's do nine units and then you want to make sure that it does a 90 degree angle and nine units up again and then basically do the same thing all the way around in a circle okay so do not connect these roads just yet and I'm gonna show you why um, basically connect all four points of this together and the reason you do that is because for some reason this game likes to if these four points aren't connected to something and you connect maybe in the middle of here like with this road it will literally deform the whole circle for whatever reason but when you have all four points connected you never have a problem so now what you do you connect make it an as nice of a curve as you can or as you please you don't have to make this nice but that's the way I build my cities I just like nice cities and pretty cities okay so now that it's connected you can actually delete these four roads and it, it won't deform but what I recommend is you build your um, exits before you do any of that so say you want a road going this way like that and then you want one going that way then you can delete this and actually now you may be able to actually build off of this let's go ahead and give it a shot just if it does work that's fine but if it doesn't then I can show you what I was talking about no I didn't deform it, it it's fine so once you get it like partially connected um, you should be good but like I recommend make the bullseye in it before you uh, connect these road the initial roads to it so that is all for this tutorial my name is Dincian thank you guys for watching please give me a rate or drop a comment telling me if you like this what kind of interchanges or if you want some more tips on entries just let me know so thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.